and I don't like it because of this map right here. Fresh in this morning, parts of Charleston County now in moderate drought with Williamsburg and Georgetown counties in moderate drought as well. And that is not a good thing as we are headed into the warm season. And this is when I bring in J.D. Rayfield, the director of operations here at Boone Hall Farms at Boone Hall Plantation. J.D., we've been talking about this. In fact, we spoke earlier in the week about we had the frost a few weeks ago. Right. Now we're looking ahead to the potential for drought conditions, and it looks like that has been noticed now with the updated drought monitor. Uh, you know, you guys are good here. You've got irrigation systems. Most of our local farms do that, but folks at home don't have that. What are some things that they need to be paying attention to that they may not necessarily think of if we're in an abnormally dry climate right now? Well, Josh, just like this afternoon when people go home, most people will either have an irrigation system or a sprinkler system running in the yard. Don't forget about your mature plants, especially those older azaleas and uh, camellia bushes that are in your yard. When the leaf starts to kind of shrink up a little bit it's telling you it needs some water too right and you know we were talking about this that that most people they go out in this in the beginning of spring and they buy all the things like mike is showing right now that right. they plant for the season but they forget about the trees and the azaleas the perennials that are there year after year and if you forget about them we can have a problem right exactly exactly a lot of people focus you know on what has just been planted you know right. and, and with, with the water but don't forget to give those older plants some and especially if you've got like a japanese maple a lot of you know homes here have one right. kind of as a centerpiece in the yard they need a great deal of attention during this drought and and you every day i was going to say and you'll notice too with the sunshine on those they already don't like a hot sun anyway no, no. and when you've got a hot sun with drought conditions they can really start to suffer uh, jd we're going to come back to you in about a half an hour we're going to talk okay. about some of the frost and freeze impacts from a few weeks ago and we're going to look ahead as to what that may mean for for you and some of the other farmers as we go through the rest of the season okay, always we'll good to see you I'll yeah see you all right we'll all see right. you in a minute Bye. all right uh, that's what it looks like right now octavia from Boone Hall Farms. Bottom line is we are headed into at least moderate drought, and if we don't get some changes in that seven-day forecast with temperatures remaining above normal for at least the next seven days, and honestly, Octavia, I don't see a snap in this anytime in the near future. It looks dry and warm for at least the next two weeks. Uh, that could be a problem for us.